go friends and welcome to another episode of Tried and Tested. Today we're going to be trying out some amazing hair products. Now you might have noticed that my eyes are a little bit red. Um, it's because I think I was using some eyeliner yesterday that I might have been very sensitive to so it hasn't really gone away. Please try to ignore that and focus on the hair. This is a new styling tool from Dyson. It's called the Dyson Air Wrap. I'm actually super excited about this because I saw the video and went what is this thing? It looks so cool! Okay, let's open this up. This is a really beautiful case. And you can use it for curls and you can also straighten. And then this one is for volume. I'm very excited to try this! I generally don't like tight curls, so I'm going to try with the bigger barrel first. It's also uses on like slightly damp hair, like 80% dry, so I think this is just about right. So you hold your hair out like this and then you hold this at the tip of your hair, like the bottom, and then you turn it on. Whoa! Oh, oh, right, okay, it wants to go that way. Oh, there we go. Oh. It's also hold this for four seconds. And then there's a cool button here. You switch it to the cool mode for a cool shot for another five seconds. And then, turn it off. And, ooh, wow, that is a curl. <gasps> That's such a pretty wave. Every time I do my hair with curls, right, I always tell them, I want kong qi gan, kong qi gan, which is like, I want it to look as though like the wind blew through my hair and made it wavy. This is like super kong qi gan. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, but actually I don't mind that either. My method will not be to section out. I'm just going to turn it on. And just hold it there and see what happens. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> just wrap. Go. There we go. Pull it out. Oh yeah, this is the kind of hair I like. It just grabs and then I just need to get it in the right place so that the, the air can sort of get the hair to wrap around. This thing is so light that it doesn't feel difficult at all. This is exactly the effect that I've been trying to get for the longest time. I always take so much work. But this is like effortless. It's very difficult to achieve this kind of look with a regular hair colour. Like, so difficult. This is... Oh my god, I'm so happy. Hair pee. <laughs> I read somewhere that this took six years to research and to create. And on top of that, they spend like, I think 24 million pounds or something. This part here does get hot. Like, I wouldn't go and grab it, but it, it won't burn me. Let's try it with the brush. I'm now going to try smooth up my nice curls. <laughs> they might be very easy to do again. I'll do that again later. Did you see that? I can even curve it at the bottom if I want. I love this thing so much that like I want to buy one now. This thing can move. When I do this and I want to turn, the brushes turn with it and if you saw, the hair wrapped around the bristles, which is why I allowed it to curl at the bottom so beautifully. Rating? How do I rate this thing? This is magical. Uh, $24 million, right, for R&D. $24 million pounds for R&D. Let's give it a 24 million then. I feel like I'm making it sound too good. People are not going to believe this is real. Yeah, I haven't tried this one yet. One thing that I always do is that I need to get my roots up. So I'm going to try and see how much volume this can give it. Girl! Look at that! That's so good! 24 million out of 10. Actually, should I convert it to Singapore dollars? 24 million pounds in Singapore dollars is about 43 million, so I would give this a 43 million out of 10. And there's nothing I don't like about this. Oh my god, I love this so much. I love everything so much. 43 million. This is the edge finger. We saw a video on this and it looked like they were having such a good time washing their hair and getting like a nice scalp massage. It looked amazing. It's so easy to hold. This is made of silicone. It's like firm without being hard or scratchy. It doesn't feel painful because it's soft. Oh, that feels so good. Oh my goodness. Okay, I can't wait to wash my hair with this. Oh guys, this feels so good. Uh, the handle works really well. I can definitely feel this giving me a thorough clean. This feels gentler than fingernails, but at the same time, actually even harder than fingernails because of these points. You can press that into your scalp. This feels so good. Oh my god, I can sit here and do this forever. Okay guys, like, 
end of show oh man i give this a 10 out of 10 this is so good like you definitely want this as a shower companion washing your hair will never feel the same again but you don't need to charge anything it's easy to hold it's totally no fuss easy to clean yes 10 this is the cha hong all head hair volumer and brush so we saw the video on this and it was insane like this lady her hair just went from flat to boom it looks like huh. well the product is in here this looks like a giant glue stick this kind of smells like the hand soap that you get in hotels. Inside, you have this. <laughs> There's more vibration in this part than in this part. When you first put it on like this, it kind of feels like a stick of glue, honestly. But then after that, you rub it in. In the video, she was also like, ah, da, 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 whoop, whoop. So is it that it's very light and you can't feel anything? Oh, actually, hey, it's not that sticky. It does go whoop, whoop. <laughs> Not sticky at all. So what she did was, she coated the front and the back. Moment of truth. Oh, it's not as high as, as hers. It's also a lot of glue on my hair. <gasps> this is like something about Mary. There's something about Mary. Do you remember the part where she does that and then it's just, it looks like that. Maybe I try and massage it in. After massaging the product in into the hair, you can you do spread it out more, you don't see the residue, but you can definitely feel it. Like, this just kind of feels like a lot of wax. We noticed that in the video, she was doing this on people who had short hair and also very fine, thin hair. So maybe because of that, it was easier for the hair to stand. So I don't think this is as amazing as it kind of looks in the video. In terms of application, it is easy. I quite like this massaging thing because it does help to spread the product out quite nicely. But I also feel like you could do that with a comb or a brush. And it's not so whoop whoop anymore, like I can feel that stuff on my fingers and on my hair. So for the amount of volume that I'm getting right now, which isn't very much actually, I feel like it's not quite worth all the hassle. So I would give this a um, 3 out of 10. Because it's like, it just is working like a regular hair wax. This is the DDK 4D Mascara. Now this is not for hair on your head, it's actually for your eyelashes. It is mascara, and, but we saw the video and we're like, oh my goodness, this looks insane. In the video, right, it just kind of like drags out all the way to like your eyelashes are here. Yeah. Who needs eyelashes that long? But the point is that this can do it. This kind of looks like regular mascara and you have the fiber. So it's pretty standard for lengthening mascaras, I think. So this is the mascara. You're supposed to add the lengthening fibers while it's still wet. The first time you do it, you do it for the entire length of the eyelash. And then now you're supposed to wait for three seconds and then coat it again. We'll see at this point in time it's looking a little bit clumpy But that is so lengthening, that's insane Hey, this is really very long eh? Wow, I must say I'm very amazed Because my eyelashes look so long It is a little bit clumpy at the end But I feel that some mascaras with fibres and all that also kind of clump like this It's not beyond like what is acceptable I feel In the video the girl kind of has her lashes all the way here but apparently to do that you have to squeeze the lashes together and then twist them and all that but I think we don't need that because this is enough for everyday use and it's really super long I'm very impressed I would give this like a 10 out of 10 We have blotting paper for our face This is blotting paper for your hair as in like your scalp, right? So this is from IGK It's a charcoal dry shampoo hair blotting tissue and it's called Swipe Up See what it looks like inside Ooh, ooh. No, I'm losing all the product! Oh no, stop! Stop it! Save it! I don't know. It smells like shampoo. <laughs> they say like you're supposed to press the powder side onto your hair and then press it in. But my problem now is they both look the same. Are they both powdered? So it's like I'm going to rub this side and then just in case I got it right, I rub this side. But then, then if it's the wrong side, then it's already on my hand. They could do more to make it like clearer which side the product is on. So you're supposed to press it in with your fingers and rub. I don't see any residue. I feel a bit of powder on my hands. Okay. I can't see or feel much of a difference. I'm trying to think whether a lot of the product flew away. But I feel like the powder should also be in here, right? And also if that flies away, that's a that's a bad design flaw, you know what I mean? Like what if you're outdoors? 
or like in, in, in front of a fan or something, you take this out and boom, everything is gone. Like, no, cannot. So the paper itself doesn't feel powdery, but when I touch it, my hand feels powdery. If your hair is not super greasy, you cannot feel the difference. If your hair is super greasy, I have doubts as to how much this can do. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Because there's so little product, like, I'm wondering how much it can really do. It's okay, I think it's a 5 out of 10. Okay, we've come to the end of the episode. If you want to find out more about the products, how much they cost, where to get them from, you can go to our Tried and Tested Facebook page, or you can just check out the links in the description box down below. And if you're already subscribed to our channel, do you know what you're supposed to do on YouTube? You need to... Hit that bell so that you'll be notified every time a new video comes out onto YouTube. Or you can just do it the easy way and very quickly download the Click Network app so you can watch the videos before they come out onto YouTube. Alright, so next time, go be beautiful.